In this episode, I talk about my favorite fearless female of fiction. That's right, G.I. Joe's Scarlet. So, stick around. Hello friends and welcome to Days of Dorker Past. My name's Rob and in this episode I'm going to talk about my favorite fearless female from fiction and that's Scarlet from G.I. Joe. To give a little background I have teamed up with some great bloggers over on WordPress and we are presenting Fiction's Fearless Females. This is to commemorate International Women's Day and Women's History Month which was the month of March. Now it's April, but there were so many great bloggers that were releasing great articles on a weekly basis that I finally get my turn. To catch up on these great articles from these great bloggers, check out the links below and check out my Twitter account because I've been retweeting their awesome posts. In 1982, the G.I. Joe toy line was released and Scarlet was one of the original members. Unfortunately, I didn't really get my first exposure to the character until the cartoon in 1983. And this was how they introduced her. As you can see, they presented her right off the bat as a strong woman. She pulled no punches, she was on equal standing as Duke, and she was a great character. Shortly after this aired, I got a G.I. Joe Digest, which was a collection of the G.I. Joe comic books. See, I was a little bit behind because I didn't have my finger on the pulse. We didn't have websites or news articles to tell us where to go if we liked certain things. And I was just a little kid, so it took me time to catch up. But within this G.I. Joe Digest, it reprinted G.I. Joe number one. Right off the bat in G.I. Joe number one, we see Scarlet throw a shuriken at Cobra Commander. Again, in another medium within the G.I. Joe universe, she's presented as a strong woman and a great character. But something that she was involved in in a backup story in this shook me to my core as a child. In the story Hot Potato, written by Larry Hama, we see Scarlet, Rock and Roll, and Snake Eyes in the middle of a sea of bodies. Scarlet tells her team members to run ahead because she's a lame duck. She is willing to sacrifice herself to get her teammates out of there. She orders them to drop their gear and to leave. She even threatens Snake Eyes by giving him the mission of making sure Rock and Roll doesn't turn back. But in honesty, Snake Eyes was the one to return. As we get back to Scarlet, she's mowing down the enemy with Rock and Roll's machine gun. Snake Eyes arrives to help her out. And just to show her toughness, she simply says, I think I've got some sand in my eye which is usually a line reserved for tough men in movies and comic books. As Snake Eyes and Scarlet are left in a foxhole, they're running low on ammo and have many enemies to take out. What really disturbed me about this as a kid is what she says. Swell, both of our guns are dry now. They'll overrun us with the next wave. I've been saving two shots in my backup piece. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be captured. That line right there was something that haunted me, still to this day. And whenever I see it come up in movies and read it in books and stuff, the same type of scenario, I'm always brought back to this comic. I mean, how tough is that? That is somebody that doesn't take crap and has the strength to end their own life just to escape torture and misery at the hands of the enemy. 
Again, these are traits usually set aside for male characters, but here we have a comic that the female is the strong one that's willing to risk it all and to end it all. So between the comic and the cartoon, I needed to get Scarlet in my toy collection. It took me a while to finally find her on the shelves because Hasbro may have been forward thinking in including a female character, but she still was a short pack in the boxes, as they say, and was kind of hard to come by. Now, I've talked to other people my age, and even as a kid I ran into this, but dudes did not want a girl character. A girl toy. And I found this preposterous. She was part of the bigger universe, so I needed to have her. She was an awesome character and a member of G.I. Joe, so I needed to have her. Just like my other toys that I collected, I needed to have Tila for He-Man. I needed to have Leia for Star Wars. These women were part of the bigger universe. It didn't matter that I was a boy and that was a girl. She, she was part of the team. Now, the character has been through a lot in more recent comics and more recent mythos of G.I. Joe, but I will focus just on the 80s and just of my childhood with the character. What's kind of funny and sad at the same time is, when Hasbro first approached Larry Hama to write the file cards and to create some of the characters, Scarlet was only known as Girl. They just knew they had to have a girl character on the team, but that's as much thought as they put into it. Now, Larry Hama created the character of Scarlet. Some rumors say it was based on his wife. That could be true. I don't know. But what I do know is he painted her as a very lethal and competent woman from the get-go. Scarlet's real name is Shauna O'Hara, and she hails from Atlanta, Georgia. She comes from a family of karate experts, as her father and her brothers were all trainers. So she grew up learning martial arts, taekwondo, karate. And from there, she won multiple competitions and awards. After high school, she went to college and got her law degree. And after that, she joined the military. She graduated from advanced infantry school and ranger school. From there, she was given special clearance to train in covert ops, marine sniper school, special air service school, and marine taekwondo. Although she's adept with all infantry weaponry, Scarlet is the master of the XK-1 power crossbow. And with that, she has specialty bolts, which get her out of many types of situations. She's also a qualified expert in, well, it'd probably be easier if I just show you. I'll wait a second while you read this list. She stands as the only member of the G.I. Joe team whose file is closed. Her duties are kept a secret from her own teammates. Her file card points out that despite all of her deadly skills, she still maintains a great sense of humor. When she was first brought onto the G.I. Joe team, Scarlet was their martial arts instructor. She trained all the new recruits and then was given a chance to join the rest of the men on the field. It was in one of these training exercises that she met Snake Eyes. Just judging him on looks alone, she knew that he was a master martial artist. Of course, with his ninjutsu. Maybe it was love at first sight for Snake Eyes, but he allowed Scarlet to best him which probably wasn't that hard because of how trained she really was. But this intrigued her, probably to the point of frustration that she knew that he threw the fight. But it was from there that their relationship grew, and in turn became romantic. They're on a special mission in the Middle East when a helicopter went down that they were both in. She became trapped when her seatbelt wouldn't disengage. But Snake Eyes stayed behind to save her. A window blew up in his face, which was what caused the damage to his vocal cords 
and to his face. Scars that would remain with Snake Eyes his entire life. Well, until he got plastic surgery. But we won't talk about that. It was from this point on that there was a Beauty and the Beast type of motif to their romance. But, Scarlet got Snake Eyes out of so many jams over the course of their life together. Scarlet has always been painted as a tough, no-nonsense woman character that will do anything to get the job done. She's never been a stereotype. She's never been a damsel in distress. She's never been portrayed as weak. She's always been strong, and she's always been an awesome character. That's why I chose her to be Fiction's Fearless Female. I know I'm not explaining myself or the character as eloquently or as great as some of my peers within this team-up have with the characters that they've chose, but this is a character that I have looked up to, have respected, has, have loved since I was a child. And like I said, they've always portrayed her as a strong soldier above all else. Yes, I do love the romance that her and Snake Eyes have, but they've always been equals. Anyway, don't forget to check out the links below and read some great articles about Fiction's Fearless Females. This has been a great team up and I can't wait till our next one. So until next time, keep being rad, stay dorky, peace out!